Sharks, the ocean's most dangerous predators, or are they? Think about three words to describe them. All right, now were those words cuddly water puppies? When most people think of sharks, they aren't thinking about giving them a high five or a belly scratch. Maybe you should add slipping into a bikini and swimming with sharks to your vacation to-dos or hand-feeding one to your bucket list. 10 Friendly Sharks in the Ocean Number 10. Even sharks have a BFF in their world. According to a new study from Southern Australia conducted with Port Jackson sharks, these sea predators actually have their own best friends and they swim along together for several years on end. They prefer to spend the majority of their time with the same few individuals and these aquatic friends are very often of the same sex, so it's obviously not just a mating cycle thing. The study showed that not only do sharks precisely recognize their friends year after year, but have a preference for hanging out with other sharks that are similar to them. Turns out, we have more in common than we thought. Fun fact! Port Jackson sharks lay spiral-shaped eggs that their babies hatch from. Take a look at these black spirals. It's really amazing! Number 9. The Scuba Diver and His Playful Underwater Pal Continuing on with Port Jackson sharks, there is a six-foot female living off the coast of Nobby's Beach in New South Wales, Australia, and this girl is all about the cuddles. In this picture, we see her with friend Rick Anderson, who runs a local diving school. The lady shark has no name, but Anderson recognizes her by her markings. They have been snuggling and swimming together for seven years now. Anderson basically treats sharks just like other people treat dogs, and they love it. This one even follows him around with little nudges until he stops and sticks around for a cuddling session. Don't try it on your own, though. It took Anderson several years to establish this friendship, and he started out very carefully when this lady shark was just a baby. What are baby sharks called? Click the little eye on the top right corner to take the quiz. 8. I'm ready for my close-up. Joe Romero is a shark enthusiast, and he has a particular friendship with the hammerhead sharks. This photo by Bill Fisher from Media Drum World shows him feeding one and patting it on the nose like a dog. This is all the more special because the great hammerheads are very rare. It's an endangered species, and they are hunted along with various other kinds of sharks for their fins. Shark fins are considered to be a delicacy in Asia, particularly in a soup. People cut the fins off live sharks and then throw them back into the water severely injured. 73 million sharks are estimated to be killed for shark fin trade every year. So it turns out humans are more of a danger to these predators than the other way around. 7. Let's go out and grab a bite together underwater. This is Bob Friel, an author from Philadelphia, casually feeding a shark in the Maldives back in the 80s actually looks similar to the spaghetti scene from Lady and the Tramp. Although he's an author, he studied marine science at the University of Miami, and this resulted in many photos of his underwater adventures in worldwide travel magazines. If you decide to try and take a shark to dinner yourself, you should take care not to become the main dish. Skip the shiny jewelry, drastically uneven tan, and bright clothes because they make you look like a fish. Never turn your back and definitely don't make sudden movements. Sharks chase fast-moving things much like dogs. Move slowly towards the shore or the closest boat, whichever one is near to you. And if you do happen to get attacked, grab a rock or anything else and go straight for the gills or eyes. Number 6. But why eat the human when you can get a belly rub? Although sharks are fearsome predators and you should be careful around them, they are actually nowhere near as bloodthirsty as popular fiction would have us think. Believe it or not, these huge hunters love to cuddle. This surprisingly adorable leopard shark smiles the happiest grin ever when its aquarium keeper comes to visit. This amazing interaction happens in the new Caledonian city of Numia, and a representative of the aquarium said it's routine behavior for the shark, which never misses a chance to be petted. While the aquarium keeper is cleaning the huge tank, this shark swims right up and just flops in his arms for a belly rub. These kinds of human-shark friendships are becoming more widely known than ever, and biologists are hoping it'll help raise awareness of the shark's true character 
and protect these unfairly feared and hated marine animals. Leopard sharks are especially famous for totally ignoring divers in the wild. Although we share the shallower waters, leopard sharks swim along the bottom looking for crabs to munch on and would rather swim away from a human than come say hello. This makes them one of the least dangerous shark species out there, along with whale sharks and basking sharks who feed on plankton and actually love to hang out with humans. Number 5. We're Friends, Not Food Photo courtesy of San Francisco's Aquarium of the Bay, this beautiful snapshot shows one of many reasons why people are fearing sharks less and trying to protect them more. We are not a shark's prey of choice to begin with, and these critters can actually help us a lot. Swimming with sharks is a booming area of sea and ocean tourism, and diving instructors, marine biologists, and conservationists around the world are working hard to educate underwater adventurers about proper shark society etiquette. Not only do they boost the economy, they are a major inspiration for engineering as well. Scientists are hot on the trail of creating artificial shark skin. Its texture could greatly boost the speed of our divers, both human and mechanical, and significantly reduce the amount of energy they have to spend underwater and in the air because it's being considered for airplane wings as well. It could also help protect ships from accumulating algae and barnacles on their bottom without relying on the environmentally toxic paint we currently use, and it's already being applied to hospital surfaces and medical devices to prevent the bacteria from spreading across doorknobs and equipment. 4. The Largest Fish in the Sea Gentle giants of the ocean, the whale shark, also known as the largest fish in the sea, gorgeous creatures with spotted backs and white bellies. You don't need to fear their wide, gaping mouths. They only feed on plankton. Good news for us, since whale sharks are a welcome tourist attraction. They are becoming endangered, and the more people get to view these massive creatures up close, the better the odds that people will want to help save them. Little is known about how the whale sharks migrate or what their mating patterns are, but it was recently discovered that they eat small fish as well as plankton. If you look at this still taken from a video captured by Conservation International in Indonesia, you can see a whale shark with high unusual behavior. A fishing net that has a hole in it has attracted the whale shark and it starts to suck out the little bait fish like a suckling baby. It's really incredible. Fun fact, individual whale sharks can be identified by the spots on their side. Number three, there's always that one friend that stands out. This is one of those rare moments of interspecies contact that leaves all the netizens everywhere gaping in awe and cuteness overload. The shark in this picture is a tiger shark, one of the most powerful underwater predators known to us, and affectionately rubbing its nose, we can see Jim Abernathy, an adventurous scuba diver. This encounter happened off the coast of the Bahamas, and this particular shark is pretty famous for its friendliness. Her name is Tarantino. People who go swimming with sharks as a tourism gig aren't likely to hang out with tiger sharks because that's just a bit too risky for inexperienced divers. They're right behind the great whites in jumpiness, so it takes a fair few years of training before you can go and strike up a mute conversation with one of them. Tarantino, however, is a famous exception, totally used to divers, and just loves the petting and affection. Number 2. Smile for the camera, everybody! Allie Johnstone of Ragamuffin Tours featured this photo on their blog, illustrating a tour of the whole Chan Marine Reserve where people can come and visit an adorable group of nursing sharks. Although a shark that lives in a man-run marine reserve will obviously be way more tame than a wild one of the same kind, nursing sharks are still among the species that are the most peaceful around humans. They're the ocean's couch potatoes. They chill at the bottom, waiting for nighttime to munch on a fish or squid, and are completely passive towards people unless they're directly attacked, which makes them ideal buddies for beginner scuba divers and first visit shark enthusiasts. Their mouths do have a pretty strong suction ability though, so you probably shouldn't lean in for a kiss. Maybe stick to high fives like Eli Martinez, editor of Shark Diver Magazine, does with friendly lemon sharks. Number 1. The Friendly Shark That Saved a Fisherman's Life Back in 2012, a sea sailing tragedy was made a lot less terrible by a shark. Instead of eating a lost fisherman, the shark actually saved his life. Just another reason for us to save the sharks in return. 
Toke Te Tota from the island of Mayana and his brother-in-law, Lulu Falala, were cast adrift in this Pacific Ocean for almost three whole months. Mr. Tetoa's brother-in-law was overtaken with dehydration in early July, and Mr. Tetoa himself survived alone on rainwater up to September 11th when he was woken up in the middle of the night by a nudging at his wooden boat. There was a shark circling him and bumping its nose against the hull. Mr. Tetoa looked up to see the stern of a ship and the crew watching him through binoculars. As soon as he started waving at them, the shark up and left, and Mr. Tetoy was taken aboard and treated and made a full recovery in time. Although he says for the next trip, he'll take a plane. If that shark hadn't have woken him up, he might have never been saved. If you answer the poll question as pups, then let us know in the comment section below. There's plenty more shark information to learn. Give this video a thumbs up if you want us to make more shark centered videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Up next, 10 interesting dinosaur facts you didn't know were true. Number one, dinosaurs and humans never shared the earth. Thanks to worldwide popular films and TV shows such as the Jurassic Park or the Flintstones, many people still believe that our ancestors went scavenging with the occasional raging T-Rex hot on their heels. Well, sorry to ruin your childhood, but the Flintstones lied. Dinosaur